Sheesh. This got Harry? I'm sh honestly shocked I haven't taken more damage than this. Okay, all we have left is Crab. It does not help that they all have really long range. But, I mean, we came out of it fine. Let's see if there's any more Zephyr ore. It's odd. Usually Zephyr is related to winds, not water. Okay. Just keep distance, and everything will be okay. Kind of wish I could huck my bombs. Like these dudes can. I feel like that would go a long way. Par. Uh, do we want to go here? Yeah, sure. Why not? I got healing potions aplenty. There we go. Anything more? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Alright, and we get nothing for our troubles. I mean, loot and money, yes. Whoop. Ooh. Weirdly reminded of somebody trying to micromanage how I dodge in this game, telling me, you know, angles to dodge and whatnot. I don't know. I'm just immediately reminded of it as I'm trying to dodge. Probably because I'm trying to dodge better, but it's unfortunately one of those that, you know, I'm working on eight cardinal directions and high stakes environments. It's a little, a little tough to keep up. It always boggles my mind when people are trying very hard to convince me that it's like, you know, you need to dodge through enemy attacks. And it's like, oh, I'm well aware. It's just, you know, trying to think analytically in the middle of combat is tough. You know, it works well if it's like a strategy game where everything's going hella slow, but this kind of thing? Uh-uh. I'm getting better at, at dodging through enemy attacks, but so much of it always boils down to just being used to enemy patterns and pacing, you know. I think we got through that entire room hitless just because... You know, I actually recognize what they're doing now. There's always the expectation that you have to be perfect. I think that gets to me. We get a Maelstrom Flail. Ooh. That seems kind of fun. I'll use it for like two seconds, take a bunch of damage, and then probably regret it. We might want to go dump my money, though. As I keep picking up thousands of gold. Um... Now that we know that there is a, a pretty hefty upgrade to the Codex, if we can just find the other two. I'm just gonna not. Yeah, that's pretty good. But absolutely throws me off. Uh, that's the other thing, dodging wise. This stupid ore. Because <laughs> it's one of the only things you can actually get, like, physically stuck on in this game. Not a big problem, but uh, really inconvenient. Because you really do get stuck on this stuff. Okay, not seeing anything else. Oh boy, I'll leave that for a second. There. Uh, how's this gonna go? Is this like my third or fourth trial today, right now? It feels like it. Oh. Huh. I knew this one was coming. Somebody said, have you tried the one with lasers yet? Very much spoilers. Oh, Jesus. I dodged? Maybe you can't dodge through lasers? 
or... Oof. No, you 100% can dodge through lasers. I think they're just a little thicker than I thought they would be. And a lot quicker. I can't, I can't do this one. I, I can't, maybe I can, but it is, I just don't see half of them. I give up. Maybe I've just been playing too long today. I don't know. I, I love, I love action games like this, but sometimes I kind of wish there was like, okay, I give up. This is, getting good here is no longer going to be enjoyable. Oh, I'm so glad that's marked on the map, though. That's going to make my life a gazillion times easier. I don't mind the concept of getting good. Though, I found, uh, gosh, I bet I can go back to Gungeon after this and actually have a really easy time of it. Uh, probably not. One of the main reasons why this is a little bit more accessible is the availability of extra health pickups. Oh. <sighs> But I like getting good until it's no longer fun. Like if I have to spend, you know, 10 minutes on something, maybe. 20 minutes? Mm, 30 minutes? No. 40 minutes? Uh-uh. Multiple hours? It better be something really interesting. But if it's just pure reflex test, um, and it felt like those lasers kind of were a reflex as most of the trials are. That's where I actually run into some problems, largely owing to the fact that, like, you know, I might have decent reflexes compared to some people, but, like, it ain't enough to carry me through a lot of things. And I'm sure I could practice it and get used to it and, like, really train myself to the point where... Yeah, I can react to almost all of this stuff and, and breeze through uh, bullet hells like a champion. But my finger hurts and I get bored really easily. I want to play something, you know, exciting in a way of like, hey, um, you know, this is fresh and interesting and new and cool and whatnot. And I find, honestly, uh, getting good is the antithesis of that. It is... A repetition of something new and challenging to the point where it becomes familiar and easy which I mean honestly to some degree is necessary you know if, if it's a hard game like you're gonna have to really beat your head against a wall to try and beat it but at the same time At the same time, it loses its novelty halfway through, and then stops being nearly as interesting. Oh, good. My defense is getting to the point where I'm actually not taking a whole lot of damage from these guys. We might want to switch the... We might want to switch to the ranged armor just to tank shots. I'm not that keen on the idea, just because boring. But, I mean, there's a decent amount of ranged weapons that I haven't even touched. What I'm surprised by is we haven't found any, like, particularly incredible melee weapons. Ow. Or not melee weapons, melee armor. That makes you just absolute beef cheese. It's fine. Oh, that's, that's not ore. What am I doing? Running out of potions, that's what I'm doing. Well... If I truly run out, I can just walk back, find another way around. Ow. Yeah, some of these still hurt. Like a lot. Crabs, not so much so. But everything else still does 15, 20 damage. I thought I dodged that. Uh 
Okay, stay away from them. Get in the center of the AoE. Nothing can harm you. Alright, life is good. What else we got around here? Yes. Some ore. I don't think I care too much for it, but I'll take it. Please be fountain. Fountain. They're forthcoming enough. I apologize if I end up uh, missing any ore. I don't think I need too much more of it, which is part of it. I got messy. Yeah, sometimes it's like, how do you weave through these bullets? I don't know. This game had mildly customizable difficulty settings that you just pop on at any time. It's like, man, this, this area is starting to kick my ass. This boss feels borderline impossible. What if I slowed this guy down? Nerf this boss, please. I don't know. I, I've i always wanted to finish Bloodborne. And I'm pretty sure at this point, with all of my various experience with other challenging games, that I actually probably would have a decent chance of succeeding. Um... But I remember very much, you know, seeing other people play it, and they were talking about, uh, you know, how it took them, you know, hours to beat one boss or another. I think that's always been, like, a huge turnoff for me. I think for a lot of people, it's, um, it's kind of a mark of pride, you know, it's like, oh man, it took me, like, two hours to beat him, but I finally got it, and there's, like, a real sense of pride and accomplishment there. I, I think I respect that. Um, but I just get bored. I just get terribly bored whenever a game is, is that, that challenging. And maybe a lot of it has to do with the fact that once again, I'm looking for the novelty, and fighting the same boss repeatedly loses that pretty quick. Ow. Did I actually... Ah, I got hit by that. Eh, that's fine. We're almost done with this area. Oh, gosh. Okay, here's what I'm going to do, though. I'm gonna turn right back around. We've got another fountain just up ahead. And I do have plenty of potions. So maybe I'm fine. But I have a lot of money. I have a lot of money in a way that I do not want to lose. And we can get almost all of this pretty quickly. Oh. Greedy coins. Slain enemies have a chance to drop an extra coin. Badge. Okay, it takes up one slot. Oh, where's the magic man? Okay, so it looks like there's probably one more town at the very least. Anyway, turn that on. Yeah, there's at least one more town or one more badge slot we can get. But I figure, why not grab that? So now we can get even more money. Do we need more money? No, actually, at this point, we are pretty damn loaded. And this fish place seems to be pretty friendly as far as finances go. But I will gladly accept more coin. And then, we'll, then eventually we'll have a war chest so stuffed full that I just don't need money anymore and I can turn it all off. And then it turns out that the real riches I've been getting along the way has been all of the just regular monster money and that these this ring and this badge do like nothing. I am very glad I did not try and walk through this with all of that money. That would have been bad. That hurt. Okay, anything else around here? Not really, no. Ow. 
Dodge through one. Dodge through you. I do kind of miss the star density that I could get in the jungle. Why did I do that? Whatever, it's fine. Uh, anything else? No. Looks like we're good with this area. Let's head back to that fountain. Do we deposit our money? Oh, it's tempting. Wait, what? The hell? Where did I come from? Where did I go? What? Can I go behind? Oh, you can go behind that rock. I was like, how did I get in here? But no, the rock is intangible. I should have known. Uh, let's just continue to be a bit of a bit of a hog. I might actually just have to upgrade this weapon anyway for the the extra damage. Uh, well, you know, all things considered, let's just walk south. Mainly just because I also have gobs of money. Okay. Delete man. Delete fish. Anything else? Gobs of money. Gobs of money. I mean, admittedly, it's like two coin. It just two coin. Retrospects it. Hitting crab. Not a biggie. Okay. There we go. A little bit thinking about the uh, the loot in this game. Uh, and the ability to upgrade it with money. I actually kind of wish that wasn't a thing. Mainly just because it does make me feel like I'm a little pigeonholed into one weapon or another. is isn't too bad, but... I kind of had this, this problem, especially in Dark Souls. I... I feel like that would be an interesting video that I'd probably get a lot of hate on but the everything wrong with dark souls or you know x things that i hate about dark souls and how that uh carries over to other games and in, impacts them as well I mean, it's minor but you know the idea of level loot like this obviously like i'm not restricted to the weapons and the upgrades are they're not minor like comparatively, yes, the base stats make the make up the the most of what makes a weapon good. But you know, getting a weapon up to plus five is like easily a thirty for thirty to forty percent damage boost. I think maybe it's not as good as that. It's really the question of DPS with the um, attack speed and the small amount of flat damage. Uh, I almost kind of wish this game had a DPS meter, but. By having upgrades, you know, upgrading a weapon up to plus five, having that be really expensive, you're really kind of pigeonholed to a couple of weapons without a, an intense amount of farming, which, you know, maybe some people don't mind. For me, I get a little tired of farming. French geyser. Well. And damage on it is good. We'll give it a shot. You know, to get this weapon to be viable. It's costly. Might actually be worth it, though. Especially with the attack speed and a couple other things, because the damage on this is, uh, wild. The main problem is low stats and the range could be better. Yeah, the range is only 100. Forces me into a little bit closer quarters than I'm 100% comfortable with. Shit. Just gonna sit here and quaff. The damage is good. Boy, and yeah, once once you get the stars on this thing, it gets uh, punchy. Just 
just in the meantime. Oof. I don't know. I might have to give it a shot. Because yeah, I've been iffy on rods as much. Book? Book! Okay, so what's this one do? Inflict slow. More damage, too. I think it's a low chance of slow, but at the same time, that's not that big of a deal. Okay. The thing that makes this staff a winner, apart from the fact that it does massive damage, is that strike through is actually pretty good. Unfortunately, a lot of enemies do not stick together uh, enough to really justify it. But I can see some more high density fights where that's really good. A uh, jungle probably would have been really like a great place for rods. Okay, I think I think we've got everything. There might be some ore that I've missed. I'm in fact 100% sure I've missed some ore. But, frankly, I'm not big on ball gold right now. Uh, let's see, so let's skip that. So where, oh where, would we find that last book? Probably here. Oh, how much money do I have? A lot. Let's go bank it and let's see if I can get in. We might have to do other things, though. But yeah, if I can get into the lava zone... That would be a happy camper. Prove themselves. Endure the demon's ritual. Prove your strength. Yep, I think we're good. The child prevails. They're much stronger than they look. The child may enter. Sweet. Yeah, so it was purely like an HP and a defense test, which I'm pretty chill with. Okay, so we're actually, we're going to pop back down here. I'm going to upgrade the, um, the Trent, the Brink Reef Codex. I don't want to, like, upgrade it too much. Because I want to save money for the inevitable maxed out version of it. But yeah, it's 30 extra damage, a little slower, and inflicts slow. I don't know if that's a 5% slow or a 5% chance of slow. Don't know if it matters. Alright. Oh, there's a demon. Oh, boy. Okay, this music is weirdly intense. I dig it, though. Yeah, let's just charge our way through, grab as much ore as possible. Hyperium ore. Oh, we're getting a lot of it, too, right off the bat. That's a good place to be. Anything else? Campfire? Nothing. Well, we want to head for the town. Oh boy. Towns are 100% the most valuable place for me to go. Because that's where all of the upgrades can be found. Though it is going to take some serious effort getting through all of this. On the plus side, we might be able to get a bunch of Hyperion more. Watch this be the place that's like, yes, now go melee. And I'll be like, oh boy. Uh, let's make sure we get everything in here. You know, I think I'm thorough, and then I'm not. Okay. All oh, those stars will carry me forward. Boy, it's giving me the ore and then some. Yeah, actually, something that would be really neat. Chest? These be the abyss 
Nope. Instead, it is the demonic blade. Double shot. Interesting. Ooh. Very glad I went with this tome. That range goes very, very far. And my HP, not nearly enough. I th we are going to need that extra defense. Otherwise, we are going to run into some problems. Oh well. Not see an enemy, which is always a little worrying. gonna just be like that. Let's switch to the AOE. It's problem solved. Oh, maybe I should invest a little bit into staff. One thing I was really hoping this game would have would be like more ridiculous weapons. Many of the weapons in this game thus far have been pretty linear upgrades of each other. And I'm not strictly against that, but it's not the most exciting thing. Let's see, there we go. We get this. Emerald ring. And a little bit of HP. Cool. Well, I'm not dying yet. Uh, but so, all of the books are really just kind of this this flat line. Oh, I'm ringing around the one Hyperion more in here. Um, but almost every single book thus far has been a pretty direct upgrade of the last. Uh, with, like, mild variations. You know, triple. this one does triple shot, but... Same DPS. It may be good for really weak enemies, but... That's about it. Yeah, I was really hoping I could get HP off the little minions. Of course I can't. My last healing potion. I might have to really think about what I'm doing. Let's see. How much money do I have? At least I don't have much. Okay, delete slime. Stupid words in my way. There we go. I don't think I took any damage in here, and yeah. As long as I can get the machine gun scale, we are good. Damn it. It's fine. We've made it to the town. That's all that matters. The music here got punchy. And some more defense. Thank you. Blessing received. Heal up. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we got a lot of things here. I think this is the last bank. Start up to 10,000 gold. Okay, so what does he have now? Another badge slot. Successful range attacks have a trigger chance to trigger refire. Attack faster after taking damage. First hit you take in a room is negated. I mean, those are kind of good. This one's great. I guess I'm going to grab the badge slot. I'm just going to buy whatever. Ooh, music in this town is great. Oh, you know what I should have done? Probably bought from this guy. Because there's a thousand HP. What else is there? Huh. Nothing new in the shop, unfortunately. Oh, this music is bumping. Are we full? Oh no. That's not the chest. I'm a fool. 
Okay, so what do we got? Huh. What other weapons do we have? We do have the mermaid tail. The flare vortex. It's a melee weapon. Range actually is not bad. I mean, I could try melee for a little while. Brimstone Great Helm. Looks like I just need more. I mean, do I? Hey, give me the defense I need. But let me mess with wildly different things. The only problem is my weapon would not be upgraded in the slightest. Really fun to just throw on the Hyperion mask. How much? Sure. Let's just. Be ridiculous. Okay, and I do have the demonic blade. So what is... Damage is great. Raid is okay. Actually, it's pretty good. Range, not so much, though, but maybe that's fine. It's also the short sword and some other things. Um, Anything else here? There's flails. I think we do want the brimstone equipment more than anything else, because just power plus 10% sounds really good. I don't know. Let's uh, make the lance as well. See what we can do with this. Obviously, I'm out of dosh, so this isn't quite as good as I'd like it to be, but still. Alright. Has perks. Let's just take a lot of these things off. I think I'm going to need those. Uh, let's see. Melee weapon projectiles go further. Melee weapon damage at full HP? No. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of amazingly good things. It's got the explosive retreat. Like, a lot of the perks here are kind of okay for melee. That, on the other hand, is pretty dang good. Where does this go? Hello? Do you seek to join the ranks of the warriors who have bested the arena? You are but a child, but I pass no judgment on those who dream of becoming champions of battle. Interesting. We'll leave that for a bit. I want to cut my teeth on, on some melee combat. See if this is even worthwhile. Oh, right. Let's go back here. Okay, I'm not hating it so far. It's actually, like, really good. I'm not even dodging either. Part of it is... It's tons of damage. Wow. Yeah, the reduced attack rate is not causing me issues. It's thousands of damage per strike. What the hell? And I'll have to... I'll have to experiment. Quick. Ow. It's 
the stinking wizard. There he goes. Okay. I should probably try and use this bomb dash further. For my own effects. But yeah, this is not upgraded. up. Get kind of lucky. These guys usually sacrifice themselves for some damage towards me. Push him away. I, we're swinging it. I don't know if it's better. 